a first look at the Houndabout Dog Bicycle Trailer. Uh, we just got these in the other day and we've had a lot of fun with them so far. I've been testing them out for the last couple of days with Parker and Brinkley. Um, the setup that I have right now is I'm using the Walkie Dog Bike Leash. So I've got a couple of different options. I can take Parker on the Walkie Dog uh, if we're going for an extended ride and maybe you know he's going to get a little tired, he can go ahead and hop in the pet bicycle trailer when he's uh, tired and we can head on home. Or if I'm going for a shorter run, I can hook Parker up to the walkie dog and bring up my little miniature schnauzer Brinkley with me in the pet, pet bike trailer. So she really enjoys that a lot. Okay, let's take an up close look at it. Hooks up via this connector to any, uh, any bicycle. Really easy connect. Uh, out of the box, I got this thing put together in about 10 minutes or so, so it was really easy to connect. And it'll break down as well and fold up so you can store it if you need to. It's made of really tough uh, canvas material and um, some really strong see-through vents, which uh, is, is going to hold up to your dog's claws, um, you know, if they were to scratch at it. A uh, really nice thing here is a, a sunroof for the dog so that they can stick their head out the top if they're a larger dog. Um, these all fold and zip, zip down and then you've got the option of rolling this down to have just another a vent like the side here. Or you, if it's raining, you've got a, um, a plastic vent to keep the rain out of the, underneath there so you can zip that down as well. Uh, it comes standard with a nice comfortable cushion. This is machine washable. Um, underneath is a let's see, let's see that it's a hard material for the floor, and this thing will hold up to a 110 pound dog. Uh, you've got your leash connector, so uh, you're going to connect this to your dog's collar just to it's adjustable, so you can make sure that they stay in the, the leash if you have the um, the front opened up. You don't want them jumping out. Uh, and then it's got this rear entry that uh, just zips down how you let your dog in and out really easily. If you have an older dog, especially if, if your dog is, uh, you know, maybe has a hard time walking, this is a really easy way for them to get in. And uh, these are really nice as well. The uh, pockets all around so you can throw your sunglasses, your keys, your cell phone, <coughs> uh, MP3 player, uh, really whatever you have to take along with you. So this is it, I'll zip down if it were to rain. You've got this barrier here to keep the rain out, plastic barrier. You can unzip this. What you do is you just basically roll it up and uh, there's some little Velcro. I'm not doing a very good job of this, but you get the idea. Velcro, so it's really open looking for the dog. You can see all around them. We actually go in as if we were the dog. you can see it's real open it's not confined feeling they've got vents all the way around and especially when we have the top open um, it's uh, any dogs that are, are scared of confinement it's not going to be a problem for them okay here's the uh, here's the models we've got Parker hooked up with his easy dog harness his camo edition you know, stay right there boy good boy and Brinkley getting ready to go for a ride in the back in the houndabout trailer Look at that smile. <laughs> Good boy, Parker. Okay, now here's Parker in his Houndabout trailer. You can imagine after going for a long bike ride, he might get a little tired, and this is a great way to just throw him in, be able to extend your bike ride. Of course, always make sure to bring water along, and if you're, don't let your dog overheat or anything, but this will let you be able to go for a little longer ride and uh, make it comfortable for him.
that fun, bud? Is that fun, buddy? And roll around.